Hey DC Collectors, welcome to a brand new episode of the show. Today we're taking a look at the DC Multiverse, The Suicide Squad, Polka Dot Man action figure from McFarland Toys. To start off, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, you get a nice window look into the box featuring Polka Dot Man and the last piece of King Shark that we need to complete him. Back of the packaging gives you a nice photo look at David Dasmolchin, who plays Polka Dot Man in the Suicide Squad, as well as King Shark, all the pieces that it takes to build this guy, and the other three Suicide Squad figures that are in this wave. Right side of the box, left side of the box. This is a sticker, which is actually pretty interesting, so I wonder what is under here. Let's try to peel this off and see. I wonder, what could it be? Uh, it's not coming off very well, though. I'm sure whatever they had under there, ugh, whatever they had under there is probably stuck pretty well. I'll work on it, see if I can figure out what it is. Top of the box, bottom of the box. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's break this guy open and let's play. Breaking in for just a second before we continue the opening, I did pull it and it says Peacemaker underneath the sticker. So this apparently was uh, produced wrong and they had to go in and put a Polka Dot Man sticker over the Peacemaker name. Interesting. Back to work. Okay, so here is Polka Dot Man out of the package. First, let's start by looking at the accessories. That gummit! First up is the trading card that he comes with featuring the exact same photo that's on the back of the package. Back of the card just gives you a little bio about this particular character. He comes with the classic DC logo black disc base with the one peg. He comes with a cool Polka Dot FX piece that fits on his wrist. As you can see, it's just a hole right here. So. It's pretty pliable plastic, so you just kind of wrap it around his wrist and give him that uh, look. Comes with some pretty cool goggles, as you can see. That is like a red transparent type plastic in the in the lenses there for the goggles, so pretty cool. Can't wait to put that on his head because I'm sure it will make the figure look much, much better. Here is another wrist guard. I'm assuming to replace the open one that is on his right arm. I don't know, we will see what it looks like when we put it on. And finally, we get the last pieces needed for King Shark. As you can see, ooh, check that out. We're not gonna go into too much detail because we're gonna cover that in an upcoming episode here, but this is sort of uh, his stomach and back, I do believe, and this is his head. Yay, King Shark is a shark. Okay, so picking up Polka Dot Man, let's take a look at the sculpt. It's okay. It's not the greatest look for uh, David Dasmolchin. He, you know, it, I can see it. It's in there. Just not, not the best. I don't know if it's the the skull cap thing of his costume. I, I don't know. But it, I guess, without seeing his hair, the hair would probably make it look a little more like him, but it's a decent sculpt. I'm not going to harp on it too bad. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm loving the polka dot. The way they did the polka dots, actually, they're raised pieces, so they're actually sculpted on there. Kudos to McFarland Toys for that. All around, pretty nice. Pretty nice piece, especially for a DCEU piece. So one thing I don't like is you can see the top of the boot and the shoe just hit together. So you really have to have him like straight knee just to keep him standing up. And he still wants to fall back. So if you were to try to kind of try to straighten him up so he looks like he's really standing instead of hunched over, he's going to naturally fall backwards. You have to hold on to him or he's going to fall because you can't move this shoe, this part back any further than what it is. The ankle joint is nice. I can't see it. I'm loving that. It's shoved way up into the boot, but you know, you, you can't move that back. So it's, he's not going to stand well at all. As far as the paint goes on this guy, I mean, everything looks really good. Of course, with so many polka dots on here and they're different colors, you're going to have some paint screw ups along the way. That's just, you know, impossible. Like where they, they missed putting the red on the polka dot right here and it sort of faded off onto his, onto his suit, you know, and, and you see that with a lot of these, but that's, to be expected, I, I think, for a figure like this. As you can see, this wrist guard is different than this. This is the one that is opened up, so I'm assuming you can just kind of throw the, uh, I don't know where this fits on his hand. Is it supposed to fit on the wrist guard itself, or, yeah, I'm not sure how this works. 
it supposed to do like like this or is it supposed to go further down or kind of further down onto the wrist guard itself i can't remember how it worked in the in the movie it just seems like uh yeah i don't know I, i'm not going to display it like this i hate fx pieces anyway but there you go if you want to see it in action but whatever all right so let's put his goggles on they look pretty cool you know sitting on his head uh, I, th I think they're on his head quite a bit in the movie, just raised up. But if you want to put them all the way down, I like that. That gives him more of a uh, super villain look to me. I, I, I like that much, much, much better. I think it makes. I think it just it, it completes the action figure, makes it look so much better. All right, so let's take a look at the articulation on this guy's head's on a ball joint, so he gets good movement. He can look. Oh, wow! <sighs> His head will not move up too far. Uh, as you can see, the collar here is going to keep the the his head from moving back too far like I did. I accidentally just sort of took his head off. But for you customizers out there, his head comes off really, really easy. He can look down about that far. So not much movement from the head back and forth. But, you know, to the side, he could turn all the way around if you want him to. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Let me adjust his goggles. I think the goggles need to go above the ear pieces right here. Makes it look, yeah. A little better. Yeah, I like that. So his arms, they can go up about that high, rotate all the way around. There is no butterfly piece, like the little plastic piece you normally see here in the shoulder. There's none on this. So I don't even know if you call that a butterfly piece, if that piece doesn't even exist really on the figure. Uh, I, I guess it's just the way the, you know, his, his arm goes back and forth a little bit. I don't know. He does have bicep swivel. He does have double jointed elbows, as you can see. And he has that McFarlane wrist that can do all sorts of groovy little things. And this one is almost annoying. Uh, this one's... You know, it's it protrudes a little a little too much for my liking, especially on this hand, when it just it looks so weird. That piece just looks weird sticking out like that. It, uh, I don't like it. Uh, as far as chest goes, he could turn all the way around. You know, has some movement here. That's about it because this piece covers it up. Think uh, the Green Arrow piece because it it is similar to this. He could do a fairly good split that way. That way's pretty good as well. He's got double jointed knees. And of course, we've already talked about the ankle joints from McFarlane and he has toe articulation. So there you have it. There is the Polka Dot Man from Suicide Squad. If you like this review, if it helped you decide whether you wanted to buy this or leave it on the shelf, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. You can find me on dccollectors.com each and every day. Uh, you can also find me on social media at DC Collectors on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Hey folks, do you have this figure? Let me know in the comments below. Is he worth the price of admission? Is he yet worthy of that $24.99 price tag to get that King Shark piece? Leave your comments below. That'll do it, folks. God bless.